Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Pro Snipers by Lucky Bags. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in and start with the design as always. And the Pro Snipers, they have that kind of that sight, that, that scope look of a sniper rifle with the crosshairs on it. Very fitting for the name. I think it's fine. Um, I think it fits it very well. Uh, the back side has that standard Lucky Bags like you see on the Surefires, a lot of their bags. They, they put that same look. It just says Pro Sniper Series instead of Surefires or whatever model you have. Um, nothing wrong with it. I'm fine with it. It's definitely an identifiable bag. If you see that out there, you, you immediately know it's, it's well. It's either a Pro Snipers or it's a regular Snipers. One of, one of the two. They have those two. They have the Pro. They have the non-Pro version. This is the Pro version. Um, but if you see that, you really know pretty much have a good idea what it is. Oh, no, I'm fine with the design. They do have different backgrounds to it, different colorways there as well. So it, it's, it's, it's not like a wow, that's impressive. They do do special releases, but it's a fine design. No issues with it whatsoever. Uh, material wise, we'll start with the slow side material. And this slow side is the exact same material that you find on the Costello. Um, it's actually the reverse of the slow side. If you take the slow side of the fire incinerator, that's seven speed material, it's a, or the slow side of the 17 Amnesia, um, I'm drawing a blank, there are other bags that use it, but you take that, that, that fire incinerator slow side and you flip that material over and that's what you've got here. It's that same material just on the back side of it. Uh, it's, it plays about a six speed. It's it's not as soft as say the Viking fast side, the Provantage fast side, the Widow fast side. That seven speed material is much softer and you flip it over, it's really soft. This is not that soft, it's actually a little bit, I don't know if I call it scratchier, but it, it, it just has a different feel to it. It's not as soft a feel, it's a little scratchier feel. However, so the hand feel isn't the same as what I'm saying there, but the advantage you get of this is this bag it doesn't slow down, doesn't stop as much as that other material does when you get in those damp, sticky, humid conditions. This material, because it's not as soft, doesn't absorb that moisture as much and still kind of, it's still pretty playable. Those other bags really start to stick up and become almost unplayable at a time. So you got your advantages. You, you, you lose a little bit of the hand feel, but you gain your advantage of playability on that. Um, so again, six speed material there. Fast side, this is that Viper fast side. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with that. Every, a lot of bags use it. A lot of companies have, almost every company has a bag that has this material on it. Nine speed, um, it, it's very fast. It's super hole friendly, pushes up the board. You can push through most any congestion, any bags on the board's gonna push through it. Uh, makes great for collecting bags. So all in all, you have a six, nine speed there. Uh, template wise, this is about the same size, same template that you get on say a Surefire. If you're familiar with the, the Lucky Bag Surefire, you've got that same template. In fact, it's a pretty floppy bag. Surefires are floppy. These Pro Snipers are pretty floppy. It's got that flat disc fill in there. Um, if you don't like a floppy bag, go check out the Fly Banshee review I did a little while ago. It has the exact same materials. It's basically the same bag, just a little bit smaller, a little bit fuller template. So if you don't like the flop, check that out. Uh, I think the flop does benefit this bag and give it, it really helps it in the forgiveness and whole friendliness of it. So I, I don't mind the flop whatsoever on this bag. Uh, the hand feel, it's got a fine hand feel to it because it has that disc fill in there, but both these materials, neither one are super soft. So it does kind of, it doesn't have that a hand feel you go wow this bag just feels awesome but i have no issues with it whatsoever playability on it now the playability it's pretty straightforward on this bag this is a bag that you're running bags in the hole with you're, you're just putting four bags in you're outscoring your opponent and, that, and this bag does an awesome job of it when you want to talk about hole friendliness or even forgiveness as far as if you're a little off left or right this bag's going to grab the hole and spin around you talk about that forgiveness you talk about hole friendliness this bag's at the top of the list it, it almost sets the bar like it's it's it, it's it's hard to find a bag that's more hole friendly than these pro snipers. These things just want to melt in the hole. If you get them anywhere near the hole, they're going to grab the hole. If they don't fall in when they're hanging there, they're so easy to collect. Like you don't have to get aggressive. Like I don't have to throw a cut shot or come across the board and try to clip it to bullet in. I just throw my next bag. My next bag hitting the board maybe enough to vibration just to just to drop it in. If not, if a bag just kind of goes in, just brushes by it, it's probably going to collect it. Like these bags are so easy to bring in the hole because they just want to fall in. Both both sides, both materials on this bag. Are extremely hole friendly they, they don't really hang up these bags don't clog up the hole they just you get them up near the hole they're probably going in and if you're playing against an opponent like when i do my videos i'm just throwing four bags playing the opponent you got eight bags so if your first bag hangs there there's seven more bags to come by that bag is going in you don't have to worry about it it will fall in so all in all if you if you like just running bags in the hole you, you can't find a better bag than the pro snipers at doing that it just does a great job i absolutely love it for that you can play a little bit of a block style game. This this six speed material is somewhat controllable that you can throw a blocker up there. The bag's big enough to, to actually occupy space. The problem with the block game is because this slow speed material is pretty still pretty fast, pretty easy to collect, pretty pretty hole friendly. It's not going to offer 
much resistance. So if your opponent throws a bag, it, it, it's just going to come in, push it, collect it. It's not really going to kick a bag off anyway. What it will do is if you've got an opponent who doesn't like the visuals of a bag in front of the hole and it changes the way they look and maybe they'll make a mistake. If you've got an opponent like that, you can really do it. But all in all, this bag is really not designed to play that dirty style game. It's not great for flops or rolls or cuts. Uh, I, again, if you can if you can roll a bag, you can roll any bag, but this is not a bag that the average player is rolling. It's just too floppy. It's got that di flat disc feel. It lands too softly. Um, cuts, yeah, you can kind of cut it, but not great. Now, the advantage of not being able to cut it is if you don't throw a flat bag, this bag doesn't kick on you. This bag, no matter how, whatever tilt or lean you've got for the most part, it's if it, if it comes in at, at, at a decent angle, it's going to flatten out and run up the board. So it's very forgiving in that aspect as well. So if you're not a flat bag thrower and you're having problems with your bag's kicking, this is a great bag to look at. Um, I will say the downside of this bag is because it is a fast bag on both sides, it's typically the miss is off the back of the board. Now, if your miss is within within range of this bag grabbing the hole, it's probably gonna grab it and you're fine, but if you're just off the sides of the hole and it doesn't come near the hole enough to grab it, it's probably going off the back or it's gonna hang up at the hole or behind the hole to the point where you can't collect it. So just be aware that the, the, the miss on that is, is gonna penalize you more than a slower bag miss, where a slower bag would stop short, maybe collectible, or at least be a blocker for your opponent. This bag's probably not gonna do that. Um, this bag is awesome for all board conditions. I mentioned a little bit about the slow side on the sticky, humid conditions. This is a great bag to have in your arsenal if you play where there, where, where you get humid conditions. You get those those damp, sticky boards that where where like a surefire just doesn't want to move. That material just wants to stop and stick. This is a great bag to pull out. Both sides play in those sticky conditions really well. So it, it'll, it's going to slow down in those conditions, but it's still going to move. It's still going to slide. You can still play it. And that's why that's why I actually love this material, why I love the Costellos, why I love the Pro Snipers, because this material is very versatile. It can play through all board conditions. Um, this Viper, again, super fast, will play as well. So if you don't like the fastness of the Viper, check out the Costello. It's the same slow side with an 8-speed. Uh, the Pro Snipers is the 6-speed with a 9-speed. So you've got two options there. But all in all, I think this is a bag that everyone should have in their arsenal as far as for at least if nothing else for when the boards start getting sticky and slow. Even if you're a carpet bag thrower, you throw slower bags. It gets to a point where those materials just don't want to move and you need something that's going to slide a little more. That's when you pull this out. Again, the whole friendliness is 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 insane, right? This bag just wants to go in the hole. I can't say that enough. Availability. Uh, these bags are available at Lucky Bags. Uh, I think it's I think it's luckycornhole.com. I'll, I'll double check make sure. Luckycornhole.com is their website. I'll put a link in the description as well. You can go, with the, go get a set of these pro snipers. They run, last I looked, they're about $100 a set. Occasionally you find them for like maybe $90.95 from time to time. Sometimes they're running on sale into the year, stuff like that. Um, but right about $100 plus shipping. So you're looking probably $110-ish or so shipped to you. Not the cheapest bags, not the most expensive. They're kind of on that middle to high end of bag purchase. I do think they're worth it. Uh, again, if you are a fast bag thrower at all and you love playing fast bags and you haven't tried the Pro Snipers, get yourself a set. You are going to absolutely love them. Um, if you have thrown them, drop your comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like them? Do you hate them? What is it like about it? What did you don't like about them? I'd love to hear your feedback. But all in all, I think this is a bag that most people, if not everyone, should at least try out. Give it a shot. I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to find a spot for it in your backpack because it is such a great bag to have. So thank you guys so much for support and I thank you for watching.